newsletter part four. So now we're going to do some more of these additional images. Come down here to the second page. And somewhere in here, there's going to be a paragraph talking about the Ron Knight Scholarship. I'm not finding it. There it is, way down here. So this may change depending on how your header is. If you have a bigger one, words have moved. Now the Ron Knight Scholarship is up here. So just keep that in mind that you know, if you're digging around for it, go, why might not look the same? It's just because of that, the size of the header you put on there. In fact, I'm going to keep that size, but I need it centered again. He's not centered. There it goes. Okay, so let's put it right there. So now I want to insert his picture. So I'm going to go to Insert, Pictures, This Device. There's Ron. Let's put him in there. Now he's a little big on here. Let's make him a little bit smaller. The next thing I want to do though is I want the words to sort of wrap around him. So let's make him about an inch. So while I'm moving him around, I'm just watching the rulers on the side. Or I could come in here to picture format and I could change his size. Maybe make him an inch tall. It's a little small. Okay, so anyways. Now, though, I'm going to choose text wrap square. Click off. Okay, so let's make them a little bigger. That's good. Now, I'm going to move, I'm going to use the keyboard for this. Keyboard's a nice way of moving pictures, just nudging them. I'm just going to nudge him down until the word Ron Knight Scholarship wraps right over the top. There. Maybe one more. Let's see. I'm going to keep going until it starts pushing the bottom ones a little bit. Nah. Right about, that looks good to me. In fact, I have a little room. Let's make them a little bigger. Nope, too big. There. Now the next picture I want to drop in, I want to do this a little differently. I've got all this space, and let's say someone paid for an advertisement. So we're going to drop in this ad that I found from device. It's the last one. And I'm just going to drag it down to the bottom. Now this one, I don't really want it to mess with anything. So I could choose top and bottom. And let's make sure you change that, otherwise it's not going to do what you want to do. And if it cuts off half again, it's because you forgot to do the wrapping. I'm going to move him. I'm just going to make him just as big as I can until he starts messing with things. Lines up there, there. Cool. Fills out the page. Don't make them so big that it pushes into this third column. See if we can leave this part blank, because we're going to put something else in there. Okay, so clip art. Now, we used to have this thing in here. Clip art, it's gone. They took away clip art. We used to have this whole extra area, and it was a huge library, and it was all free, and it went away. So now, recently, they've replaced it, and they have these stock photos that you can use. And it works a bit like clip art. So at least it's come back somewhat. Let's look for cattle. And so you can see this is what clip art or the online things look like just about a year ago. It keeps changing. Okay. Oops. Well, that's fun. Let's come back and play with that someday. Okay, so I'm not finding what I want. I don't want to use a sticker. That's too cutesy. Stock images for cattle. That's not going to cut it. Let's go to online pictures. Okay, I'm going to type the cattle in here. Enter. Creative Commons. These ones are saying that you can use these ones. They're being shared with people, allow you to freely use them. But it's still, I'm not enjoying what I'm going to find in here. I'm going to turn the Creative Commons off. So now these are not really free to use. They're copyrighted images, so be careful how you use them. I want a beef cattle. I'm going to pick this guy. Oh, we didn't. 
like that. Well, that sucked. Let's try it again. Give me an error message. Any other ones? Just in case there's something wrong with that picture. Let's see if I can get away with a different one. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to shrink him down. And let's put him in front of text. So I'm going to put him like this. That way he's not messing with the words. He's just floating around here. So I'm going to resize him until he's not met. You know, there, that looks good. Now I want two. I want one on each side facing in. I'm going to turn this off. So I'm going to copy, come over here, I'm going to paste him. I'm going to put the same wrapping on him. I'm going to put him here. He's lined up a bit. Now I want him facing the other direction. So if I, while he's here, I'm going to go up to picture format. And we've got some rotating stuff, but we also have flip. There. All right, now I just selected two. You may go, what? How did he do that? I can click one. I'm going to hold down my shift key. I'm going to click the other. And now I'm going to just to make sure, because I want to make sure they're lined up. Align top. They were aligned. Okay. So what that allows me to do is if I have a bunch of different objects, I can then align them with different things. And that way they're all lined up rather than trying to eyeball it and just get it perfect. Okay. This line is bugging me. Can we just say ignore that? Thanks. Okay. So we've got them there, we put them in place, got my header, got my picture at the bottom here, but I want to fill in this area. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop a shape in here. So let's go to insert, shape, and find one that looks like a little notepad. There it is. And then come over here, click, hold, drag, and fill in a shape. Okay. All I want you to do now is just take this shape and let's ditch the fill. It looks weird. No fill. And I'm going to go through here now and put some words in. So just come up with some stuff to put in. Imagine like it's a calendar of events of some part. So how do I get words in there? Right click on it and we're going to add text. Events this month. Okay. Can't see it. I'm going to highlight everything with a control A while I'm in there and change the font color. So let's go to black. There we go. And maybe we'll just put in some stuff. I don't know why I'm picking so far in the future. And so on. So this has come up with some odds and ends. Try to fill it up, then use your font choices. Make it a little bigger. And so forth. And that should do it. So when you get done, you should hopefully have a finished product. Let's make this bigger so it fills the whole screen. We have our picture. I have a picture here. We've got some sort of shape that you're going to fill in some words in. Um, you can come up with whatever you want in there. Another picture here with wrapping around the edges. We've got spacing in between. We got a nice font coming through, which is justified on both sides. A header with some pictures on it, and so forth. So it looks like a pretty good one. We got a footer across the bottom here with the date, time. Notice page one, page two. That's important. Don't want to just put in. Don't type the number. Remember, use the insert page number. And that's it. If you have any questions, just reach out. I hope you enjoyed this, and hope it's helpful. Thanks.